Welcome to the War on the Shore. Arch rivalry game between the Dutrier Trevians and the Evanston Wildcats. Been doing this uh, all the way back since about 1911 or 10 or somewhere around there, maybe even before that. This game with implications for the championship of the Central Suburban South in the mix. And the Wildcats have inbounded it. Up top. Drive the paint and then the bump, and that'll be a foul on uh, Evanston. Player control foul. Accidental though it was in the paint. And Nutrier gets the basketball for the first time in the game. The inbound to Canellos. Peter Canellos with the basketball. Early in the going. Gave it off to Kirkpatrick. Cross court. In tight and off the fingertips of Cohen. Out of bounds to the Trevians. And Kirkpatrick will inbound it. Cone turned the corner, reverse layup, up and in for the deuce, and the Trevians lead it 2 0. Wildcats with the basketball. Up top. Drive the baseline up and in for the deuce, and we're tied at two. Canalos. Well, always a interesting game between these two schools. Deflected out of bounds. Trevians will retain possession. This is the last time these two teams will meet on this floor, I think. Up and in for the deuce. A nice jump shot by Jackson Monroe. Next year's games should be over at the West Campus while they re-, re Build, literally, build a new building here. Outside three, no. Canelos. Up top, gave it back out, Canelos. Monroe. To the side, back up high, Canelos. Sets the play. To the far side. And Geis with the deuce. And right back come the Wildcats. We expect this to be a very fast-paced game. Evanston ride the drive back out high. And again with the drive and strong arms it up and in for the deuce. Canellos. With the basketball. Canellos. And knocked away from him, out of bounds. Last touch by the Wildcats, and the Trevians will still retain possession as we're at the mask timeout. Trevians lead it by two. Off the fingertips, and on the inbound pass, and the Wildcats have it back. Evanston with the basketball. 
to the side. Up top. And going for the three. Short. Near side, Canelos. Canelos brings it across the timeline. Canelos. To the side, Geis. Double team, gave it in and up and in by Jackson Monroe into the paint. And again to drive and in for the deuce. Kirkpatrick gave it up top. Monroe, corner, inside cone. Strong arms it up and in, and the foul, too. Though a chance at a three the hard way. And Finn Cohn goes to the line. And makes the three-point play. And they made a mistake. Jake Feagan was supposed to check in. And now they stop the play and allow Feagan to get in. And uh, he replaced Cohn. Evanson. Kick to the side. Back. Near side, and he traveled. Little happy feet. And Andrew Picar will check into the game, replacing Geis. Kirkpatrick will inbound it. We'll have all the Nutrier football games on YouTube this year. And we will also have most of the neutral baseball games, not all of them. Up top. And a blocking foul on the part of the Wildcats. Wouldn't allow Kirkpatrick to turn the corner. He inbounded to Canellos. And he'll bring it back across the timeline. Looked like he had the lane for a while. Now dished off. Going for the three. No. Heavy. And the Wildcats, but the foul. Chasing after the ball. And Picar with the foul. Wildcats on the setup. Oh, wide open and missed the shot. Down on the floor, no. The fall. And I guess it was a push. And Nutrier with the basketball on the fall underneath. Canelos. Trevians have a big weekend this weekend in real time. The two against Evanston and then the makeup one against Glenbrook South. Outside three, yes, Swishery for three, Jake Feagan. Up top. And the scoop up, uh, no.
Canellos. Monroe tried to go back door, and the Wildcats smelled that one out. Thought to go end to end, pulled it back out. Winding down the first quarter. Up and in, count it, and a fall. And a chance of a three-point play here. As we wind down the first quarter. Cone and Geis check back in for the Trevians. And got the shot. To the side. Picar put it over to the far side. Kirkpatrick up top. Cone. Geis to Fegan. Rotation to the far side, back up top. Tried to go inside, did. Oh, short, but the foul. And Cone will go to the line again. And Finn Cone gets the first. And Nicholas Chang checks in. And gets the second and substitution. And Aiden Brayboy comes in for Cone as we wind down the first quarter here. Up top. To the side, going for the three. No. A little wide. Alley ooped at the buzzer. Nope. And the Trevians have the lead here at the end of the first quarter. Trevians lead by seven, 16 to nine. And the inbound. Trevians with the basketball to start the second quarter. Canellos and the pass stolen. Trying to go end to end. Nope. Monroe with the rebound. Gave it to Canellos. Canellos tries to go end to end and in and out. Put back is good by Monroe. Jackson Monroe with the put back. Out high. And going for the three. Yep. Canellos up top. Geis. Back to Geis. Geis goes for the three and he hits it. And strong arms it up, but uh, count the basket and the foul. And makes the basket.
The inbound. And the put back. And the nice uh, backdoor play, rather, by uh, Cohen. By Cohen. Drive the paint. Up and block by Monroe. And then jump ball. And alternate possession goes to Evanston. And a, kind of a zigzag play. Trevians will inbound from the sideline. Kirkpatrick across the timeline. The pass was stolen. And the Wildcats with a little run and gun action up and in for the deuce. Well, it's kind of hard not to have a lively crowd at a neutral Evanston game, even with just about 50 people on hand. Up and no. Nutra has some students here. They also have the cheerleaders for the first time in the season. Well, with the COVID guys, Monroe, and he traveled. I think he heard the thundering herd behind him. Heard, he did. Heard it did. <laughs> Department of Redundancy Department. Fegan comes in, replacing Cone. Wildcats with it. Setting it up. Drive the baseline. Put back out high. And going for the long three. No. Wide left. Trevians pick up the ball. Cavallos. Corner going for the three. No. Out of bounds, last touch by Evanston. Going for the rebound, and it's Nutrier basketball. And the half of the quarter break. Trevian lead at six in the first half. And strong-armed up, no, by Monroe. Bounced on the rim. Evanston with it. Pulled back out. And the shot, no, and the foul. And Nutra blocking foul. I think they're going to change that. They might have, initially, they called a charge, and then they called a blocking foul, and then there was something else thrown in here, too, after the play. If that is both sides getting the foul and it's alternate possession, it should be Nutrier's ball. But I think it's Evanston's ball. I think they're going to call it Evanston ball. Fegan gets the foul during the play, and then after the play there was a foul. But I don't know why Evanston gets the ball here. But all right. 
Mine's not the reason why. Mine is to simply talk about it. Up top. Wildcats drive in the paint. The shot up and good for the deuce. Canellos. Gave it on. Guys. And going for the three. Yes. Swishery for three. Jake. Fegan with the three. Up tap. And trying to answer. Yep. The inbound. Canales. Drive to the baseline, got an opening up and in for the deuce. A little collapse on the defense of the Wildcats. A lot Canelo's free access to the basket. Back out high. And the floater, nope. Canellos to the side. Up top, Fegan. Back to Canellos. Monroe. Whoa. Yeah, and lost the handle. And Picar will check back in. Replacing Geis. Chang checks back in, and so does Cone. The inbound. Wildkids with the basketball. Always a lot of emotion in this game. There have been some classics over the years. Up top. Double dribble. Chang inbounds it. Point guard Canalos gives it to Picar. In for Cone. And Canalos again left unprotected on the far side. Nice passing. And going for the three. No, heavy. Canelos. Picar. Cone. Canelos. Back up top. Cone. Cohen back to Canellos, and he pulls it back out eye. Working on the clock a little bit. Fagan. And off the fingers, or the feet, I think, of uh, one of the Wildcats, and it's Trevian Foot, the footsies. Monroe checks in. Yeah, and somebody else did, too. Uh, uh, Kirkpatrick. Inbounded, Kirkpatrick. K. 
Canellas and alley ooped at halftime, and that won't go. And we're at halftime of this one from Nutri Gates Gym. And the Trebians with the lead here as we go to the half. Trebians lead by eight as we start the third quarter of this one. Inbounded. And Trevins with the basketball. Geis dished it off. Canelos up top. Cone. Geis feeds it in for Monroe, and Monroe got fouled. And Jackson Monroe goes to the line. Chance to put the Trevians up by Ted. Gets the first. And the second as well. Evanson with the basketball. Both teams have lost just one game this season, playing totally inside the Central Suburban South Conference, and both times that it has been to Glenbrook South. Evanston did beat them the second time, and New Trier will play Glenbrook South the second time on Monday in real time after completing this series with the Wildcats. Evanson with the basketball. To the side, drive the baseline up and no, and Monroe with the long reach with the rebound, gave it off to Canellas. Canellas tries to go end to end, no. And the Wildcats have it, and they'll try and go end to end, and in and out, no, but the foul on Monroe. And two shots coming up here. And missed the first. And missed the second. Evanson's a very good up and down, fast paced team. And obviously strong on defense as well. You want to be patient. Guys. And Geis lost the handle. And Trevian tried to call timeout, but instead it's jump ball, alternate possession to the Wildcats. Evanston with it. Yeah, step up, take the shot, and the bank shot. I, I think they wanted a foul in there. Cone. Canellos. And stolen. And the deuce. And the Trevin's going to take a timeout. Their lead's been cut. Down to two. 
Canellos. Wide open, going for the three, no heavy. Monroe, out high, stolen, and the Wildcats have it in the corner, back up top on the rotation, pulled back out high. And off the fingertips, but Wildkits with the foul, and we're at the half of the half timeout. Canados drops, drops it across the timeline. Tried to find Monroe, went back to Canellos. On the side, Kirkpatrick goes for a three. No, he got the, his own rebound. And he tried to kick it out high and kicked it away. Last touch by Evanston, though, at Nutria Basketball. But back inside the Evanston zone. Kirkpatrick inbounds it to Canellos. Canellos up top. Fegan to Canellos on the rotation. Looking for somewhere to go with it. On the pass, back out to Canellos. Inside, and the foul. Kirkpatrick will inbound it. And off the fingertips, kicked around a little bit. Wildcats have it. And the easy layup on the outlet pass. Kirkpatrick. And the Trevians have lost their lead here. Monroe to Canellos. Up top, Kirkpatrick. Canellos. Tight defense for the Wildcats. They're known for that. In tight on the back door. Up and in by Monroe. And an outside three, yes. Known for that. Canellos. Puts it to the corner. And the deucer by Monroe. Into the paint, back out high, going for the three, and another one. Cross the timeline. And got the lane, up and in, and the foul. And a chance at the three-point play. Picar and Geis check back in. Monroe will take a seat. I'm not sure who the other one was that came out, but and the three-point play, Kirkpatrick. 
And Nicholas Chang checks in for the Trevians. Up and the deuce. Rather easy. Canellos. Canellos across the timeline. Into the paint. Up heavy. Rebound was short. Try again. No. And the Wildcats with the rebound. You know, three tries and you didn't get it. In the corner, back out high. Scooped up and in for the deuce, and fall. Kirkpatrick checks back in. Got them both. No. Doesn't count. Cheated on the line. On the free throw. Lane violation, as it were. Dutrier with the basketball. Kirkpatrick to Canellos up top. Kirkpatrick, and the pass was stolen, but he stepped on the line, and Neutral keep it. And Jackson Monroe checks back in. Checking in for Will Geis. They goofed up on the score here. Had to correct the scoreboard. There you go. Wildcats lead by three. Inbounded going for the three. No. Off the fingertips out of bounds. And it was Trevian who touched it last. Quickly Chang checks in. And Canelos will get a rest. Wild kids with the about and into the forecourt, setting it up. They might even try and hold this for a last shot. On the side and pulled back out over to the far side. Back over here, dear, back to the far. Takes the shot, no. Picked up, and alley oop, and oh my! Wow! Swishery for three. Full court by Jackson Monroe. Uh, highlights reel three. And we're tied at 42 going into the fourth quarter.
the inbound. Canellas. Monroe back to Canellas. Up top, Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick into the paint. Fadeaway jumper, no. He had the kind of strong arm his way in to the paint. Far side, up top. On the rotation, again out high. And the fadeaway in and out. And no on the long three. And going back the other way. Switch a reef for three. Canelos. Fagan set to check back in for the Trevians. Gone. And he got bumped. He got a wide open three for Canelos. Switch a reef for three for Canelos. Evanston with the basketball. On the setup and the rotation. Kick back out high. And wide open for the three out. With a little spin to it. Kirkpatrick, up top, Canellos, tried to find Monroe, out of bounds, and Trevians, with the substitution, Trevians will retain the basketball, though. Fegan checks back in for New Trier. And Fagan goes for the three. No. Monroe went for the rebound. Couldn't quite grab hold. And the three the other way. Kirkpatrick back to Canellos. Canellos. And the foul. And we're at the half of the quarter timeout. Six-point Wildcat lead. Trevians will inbound. They're calling it a mask timeout. But in any case, Monroe with the deuce. And Jackson Monroe scoring a bunch here. And, of course, he had that magical three at the end of the third quarter to tie this one up at 42, but now stolen. Vegan off to Monroe, up and in. And the Trevians hanging close here. Exchanging the lead a little bit. And last touch by the Trevians on the 
attempt at the pass down the backside. Look for the open man there. Drive the baseline up over everything. No, but the foul. And up and in on the first free throw. Missed the second. Picar just into the game with the rebound. Canalos. Up top, back to Canales, Fegan. And the foul. And Peter's getting himself in foul trouble for Evanston. He's got four, and he's their big gun. Monroe, and he puts it off. Like we said, lively crowd here tonight. Got some of the true blue trivia crew here this evening, green team. Out high. And the back door and the deuce. Canalos. And Canalos drives to the basket and puts it on for the deuce. And a timeout taken. As the Wildcats lead is one point. Up and no, but the foul. And Picar with the foul. Got the first. I was looking at my old records, the Nutri record for the most times in a career that a player led the Trevians in scoring. That's for the whole career. It was Matt Lodick. He did it 60 times in his career. Was the leading scorer on the in a game. And going for the three. No. Nope. And Monroe puts it in for the deuce. Of course, uh, Matt had the advantage of being on the varsity for four years. Across the timeline. In the corner, going for the three. Yep. Canellos. And try to go inside. It was stolen. And stolen right back by the Trevians. On a nice play. Tried to go inside and no. Uh, looking for Monroe. 
Up top, going for the three. Yep. Swishery for three. And the Trevians take a timeout. Trevians down by seven. Monroe. Inside and the deuce. And Trevians take a timeout. Wildkits with the basketball. And the fall right away. Trevians going to fall down the stretch here. They've got a couple to give yet. The inbound. Nearly stolen. And the foul. And again, the foul. Geis and Monroe check back in. And Monroe with the rebound. Canellos. And Canellos for their three. No. And again, the foul. Gets the first. Got the second as well. Kirkpatrick inbounds it. And the downtown three at the end. The put back, no. And try again, no, but it didn't matter. It was late anyway. So the Trevians lose this one, but they made a pretty good uh, counting for themselves. Wildkits win it by seven. Final score 64 57. Join us for our next sports action, the. Second part of the home home series in the war on the shore between Nutria and Evanston, and for all of us here at the network. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. And we say, as always, so long, everybody. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation, all rights reserved.